If you ever wondered or were curious about or have it and want to learn how to use it, Chrome OS, stay tuned. I'm going to show you. I'm going to give you a tour of it. Will here from Crazy Will's Tech Show. Today, I'm gonna walk you through Chrome OS. That's right, we're gonna go take a tour of the operating system. Now, if you watched my video last week, I showed you a Chromebook for 79 bucks. That's right, 79 bucks. And it was on sale for that price again during the fourth. Best Buy had it going. And I even left the link down below so you guys could get it. This is the little Chromebook right here. It's actually hooked up to a mouse, keyboard, and monitor. And you just use a little hub like I have here and I went through that in the video last week that you have that capability and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna screen capture my Chromebook and give you a walkthrough of what it's like to go through Chrome OS so let's get over there let's get started there's a lot of stuff to cover it's gonna be a lot of the basics and we'll go from there all right so here we are in Chrome OS this is the interface the desktop if you will now the first thing I want to show you is right over here this is where all your settings are you click on this, notifications are right here. This is all stuff that downloading or setting up, and this is a new account I set up just for this video. You can sign out right here. So if you have multiple users on your account, you can use that. You can shut it down right here. We can lock. It's almost like signing you out. It's just locking it. And then we have settings. And we're gonna go back to this in a second, but I wanna show you all this. This is your Wi-Fi. This is your Bluetooth. You can turn it on or off, notifications. Screen capture, what I'm doing right now. And you can turn your visibility of your machine on or off. You can go in night mode volume and this is the brightness of your screen right now it's all the way down because the laptop is shut and then it also tells you the date 4th of july yes this is what i do in my life on vacation how much time i got left on my chromebook battery life has still been amazing on this thing it's at 80 percent how much time i have left it says two hours and 29 minutes but let's go back up to settings right here and we click on settings and this is a really familiar thing if you're used to android tablet type of interfaces but we have the network this is where you can get a lot of things that you want mouse and touchpad if you want to adjust settings we're not going to go through all these settings because it would take like hours but i'm just going to show you this is where a lot of stuff is so power management wallpaper uh screensaver google assistance which is enabled security you know how you want to do certain things so this is the interface of finding things that you need so that's the basic stuff so we got network we got bluetooth it'll give you all the information on bluetooth this device accounts devices personalize and it kind of walks you through that whole list that I just scrolled through assert assistance there you go security apps so how to manage your apps notifications stuff like that and if you go into advanced you get into a, a more advanced options so if you want a 24-hour clock you know military time what time zone you're in language anything in that aspect if you want to add a printer this is a good place to search for a printer um, you just click in this and you go to search for printer or add printer uh, for some reason my old printer doesn't add to this machine I don't know why power wash you can remove the whole account and start from scratch so that's all the basic stuff right there so if we scroll down now we go in here down here and this is date and time this is just like another part of the interface it's kind of redundant I don't know why they do this but it also gives you files as well so you're able to get in here and connect to a Google Drive account shared networks this is very important you might want to turn that on so that we can transfer things another thing is Linux developer if you want to turn on Linux and you want to, and you know anything about Linux you could turn that on here and it installs a Linux version onto your machine which you can then use terminal and actually do commands and actually run a lot of software that I showed in the other video that I set up again redundancies printer scanner developer accessibility or you could reset settings you go to about chrome os you could check for updates here i know i need uh, updates this will show you all the latest stuff firmware stuff that you need to look at all right so that's the settings so i just want to go through that that's where you're going to be spending a lot of your time to go in and change things another place i'm going to show you where your apps are so if we click on this little circle right here it'll pop up and then you could search whatever you want or you could hit the search button on the keyboard. Another way you can get this is you could take two fingers and swipe up and this will pop up. And if you swipe up again, it'll open up this menu, which I'm gonna click on right here. 
which shows you basically like the Android app system on of Chrome OS. So it's a little confusing because it's like Chrome, but it's also Android. I mean, it is what it is, but this is how the interface is. So these are all your apps. You can search for an app. You can scroll down. You see these little dots here. You could use the scroll wheel or you could use the sw swipe up and down with your finger. But these are the apps that you have installed into the actual computer. So we have a lot of different things in here that you can use. The biggest thing that I think that you're going to use is Chrome, which is your browser and the app store and files. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that you're going to use in here, but those are the ones that I'm going to go through today. So if you open up the Chrome browser, it'll open up a browser and then you can search for whatever you want and you can click over here. We can click this up and we can actually resize these windows. So as you can see, you also have your buttons over here where you can make it full size small size you can minimize it and it goes down here you can see it which is very reminiscent of the Mac you could open it back up and we could add a tab if you've used Chrome browser you basically know what this is so you know you have that ability and you can move this window around just like any other operating system so we'll close that out we'll go back down here to the little circle again go up and I'm gonna show you the Play Store. You're probably very familiar with this if you're working with Android devices. Very simple, I accept. And you're able to find software that you could get. It's mainly Android based, so games I haven't had any luck with because my Chromebook is not a touch screen, so this doesn't do too much. But you know, certain things like you could search for Steam, which worked fine on this and I was able to get my Steam link and get that going. So you could get something like this and actually set it up and install it. So just to show you that some of the ways to install things. Another way, if you go down to the web store, this is another store that Chrome OS has where you can download other games or applications. And this is just another place that you can buy or get some free applications and you could search for as well. So those are the two options for getting applications. We could keep going through this, but we have a lot of hotkeys. Uh, you got your sheets, your slides, documents. That's like Microsoft Office right here, all this stuff. You have your Google Chat, Keeper, Messengers, YouTube, which basically just brings you to a browser of YouTube. It's kind of pointless that that's there. Then you got your Gmail, which takes you to a browser of Gmail. But one of the best things right here is the filing system. And this is it right here. And we can click on it there, or we can click on it right down here because it's always in the dashboard. And this is your file setup. So you you got my files you got the play store of that's where everything downloads from the play store so you got documents movies music pictures and, and etc and I noticed that this interface changes whenever you add for example if you add Linux you would have an interface of Linux that would be like almost like a separate computer we also have Google Drive you click down on this and this is my drive so we can connect to a Google Drive I don't have it connected to a Google Drive right now uh, stuff that people share with me offline documents stuff like that let me show you something that you would probably want to do let's say we want to change the wallpaper so the first thing we're gonna do is go to Chrome we'll go to Chrome wallpaper we'll put that in the search let's see images let's say we like that look we want that look we like the way that look okay so I'm just gonna left click on this and save image as and I'm just gonna let it go to the download so we'll just save that Boom, there we go. So that's saved. Okay, so now if we want to change the background, we can click on this, you know, set wallpaper. That's one way we could do it. But unfortunately, it doesn't let you pick the image. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go into downloads right here. I did this so I could show you the file system. So if you put the check mark in like here, we can delete it, we could share it, or we can open it. And you can hit open right there. Or you could actually just double click on it and it'll open and there you go if we right click on it we could set it set as wallpaper but for some reason it's not letting us set as wallpaper because probably because it's the wrong type of image so I'm gonna just rename it and this is probably not the best way to do it but right click on it and you hit rename we're gonna go for the extension and we're just gonna make it a JPEG Okay, and now we should be able to set this as wallpaper, which we can. So there I showed you how to rename a file, and now we'll set it as wallpaper. And bam, we have that as wallpaper behind us now. You can see that right here. Really cool, change the wallpaper. 
All right, now. so I actually did change over to the actual laptop because I wanted to show you this. If you use three fingers and you swipe up, you actually get everything that's on your desktop right now and you could actually add another desktop which this was very popular in mac os and we could add another desktop so now we have let's just call it desk two okay and now you have multiple desktops so now we can go to just a plain desktop or we could switch over to the desktop we're working on and what's really nice is you could see all the files so we could switch between files really quickly and you can see they're actually uh, behind each other so we have multiple windows here and it's really good to organize now if you swipe up with your three fingers again and you click one of these let's say I want to put this Chrome in its own desktop we can put it right there or you could just click and drag it over to a window by itself to make this on one side and then grab this one and put it on its own side which is a lot like windows like their snap i believe it's called which you can easily just pop that out and pop that out so really good for multitasking really cool to be able to change between desktops change between applications really cool feature really thought that was neat another way you can use the desktops is there's a button actually on the laptop where you can hit the button and it'll bring you to these desktops or if using an external monitor or keyboard you can actually hit F5 and it'll actually work so that way you can get to those desktops as well I have my screen recordings that I'm doing for you guys right now and I want to create a folder so if I right click I can create a new folder and I'm gonna name it Chrome videos okay hit enter and now let's say I want to get all these in that folder you can click and drag that in there or I can check them and then click and drag them in there and it tells you right there that they all have been moved so that's some file system for you that's just to give you an idea of how to set that up same thing is if we put in a jump drive so let's say I have mr. jump drive here and I connect them into the side of the computer and he shows up jump drive right there so now we have the jump drive and this is some file I was working on Batman torso and if we go to downloads and I want those files I can just click that folder and drag it right into there and now it'll go through the process of transferring it's gonna copy all those files and it's going right to the jump drive as we speak and we can actually see those files if we click on the jump drive you can actually see the files are being transferred over there it's still going through the transfer process but you can get the idea and you can view jump drives so you know it's really a nice little functioning computer a lot of access a lot of different things and there it goes just completed so now we can access those files so that's how I'm gonna transfer them over to my Mac so I can actually video edit this stuff anytime you hit the search button the search will come up and then you can search for anything so let's say you want a screensavers personalized screensavers it comes up right here anything you want on your Chromebook it'll find for you so it brings you right to where you need it. it's like the everything button the biggest problem is you don't have a caps lock key now you have that search button you can't tap that button and be able to do that now the way to do that so you could turn caps lock on is you actually hit the alt key and search and if you notice right in the corner here you have the caps lock key is on thing telling you that the caps lock keys on to turn it off hit alt and the search button again and it turns off so if you let's say we were going into a search and we were typing and we wanted to capitalize something we wanted to put the caps lock key on now the caps lock keys on so now anything I type will automatically be capitalized that's basically the basics of Chrome OS if you have any questions or something that I didn't touch base on please leave comments down in the description below all right so that was Chrome OS it's just a quick overview of the interface some of the settings if you guys like this type of video leave a comment down below and maybe I'll make a couple more videos showing you how to do some things that that are probably basic on a Mac or a PC but not so basic on Chrome it is a little different and 
you know, if you go from Mac to PC, there's little differences here and there. And the same thing with Chrome OS. So that's the stuff I wanted to show you, just the basics, just to get familiar with it, just to see what Chrome OS is all about and how the filing system works and how the interface works a little bit, and where the settings are. I thought it was a really fun video to make to try and show somebody that's, oh my God, I'm into this and I don't know what I'm doing. So I hope it helped you. And if it did help you, make sure you like and subscribe down below. And if you really like my content, ring that bell so you get notified when I make a video. And remember, you can do anything if you put your mind to it. Later, guys. If you're ever interested in Chrome OS or you own Chrome OS and you just need a tour of Chrome OS, how many times am I going to say Chrome OS? This is ridiculous. It's over. That's it, guys. I mean, there's other videos up there. Or if you want to do me a huge favor, click the like button or subscribe button is even better. 